Good morning, Marcia. How are you? I'm doing very well. Thank you. So most actors prepare for their roles. They try to get into the character as much as possible. I understand for, for this role, you intentionally did not. You wanted to be surprised genuinely by the effects of the storm. Tell us about that. Well, I mean, I, I kind of prepared the backstory for the character and I gave him a, a history, but what was uh, interesting about the usually I would research the science behind the tornado for example but um, I felt that, that this this guy was a was a high school teacher and although he'd he'd understand what to do in the event of a tornado it, it was definitely going to be a moment by moment uh, story for him and I wanted to, to see what that felt like and there's not just one tornado there's multiple tornadoes tell us about your character and and what he's like uh, Gary Morris is a he's a, a, a high school teacher. He's the father of two boys, and and their mother has sadly died. So, um, he's sort of father and mother to, to both of the boys. And, you know, I I saw him as a very ordinary conservative everyman. Um, when I was doing a little bit of research, I, I had looked at um, some ordinary office workers that that uh, on news footage in in the earthquake in in Christchurch, New Zealand, and seeing very ordinary people going into a building and dragging out their colleagues on a day that had started in a very normal way for them, that by the end of the day they'd become these heroes. And, and, and to me, that's, that's who Gary really is. And you obviously play an American in this film. What was it like trying to learn an American accent? Uh, it was actually really, really enjoyable. Um, we were quite a mixed cast of British and American uh, actors, so I stayed uh, with the dialect all the time. And obviously, I hung out a lot with Sarah Wayne Callis, so um, I, I picked up a lot of her her sounds, uh, which was, it was really, it was really fun to do, yeah. And obviously a lot of action and special effects in this movie, um, the cast, you were all subjected to 100 mile per hour winds and rain, there was rubble, uh, you name it, you had it. Any surprises? Uh, I think the, the most uh, surprising element of actually making the film was, was the amount of practical stunts that we did. I thought, I, I thought more CGI was going to be involved, but you know, we ripped the roof off a of school, we threw trees through windows, there was a, an 18-wheeler truck that was dropped from a crane about three feet in front of me. I think that was the, the biggest surprise I had. I was running towards a bank and, a, and a, a truck dropped out of the sky. That's not CGI, that's real. That's real. And as you point out, your character, Gary, he's a hero, he's a regular guy. You've played heroes, you've played villains. Do you have a preference? Um, I, I, I always find the most satisfying character is a character which goes through a big evolution. So whether that's a, a villain that manages to find uh, some kind of heart and soul or a hero that is challenged in a, in a way that he never was before, I, I, I think whatever, whatever internal drama you can find, that's the most thrilling for me. And before we let you go, is there anything you can tell us about the new Hobbit movie? I can tell you that it's very faithful to Tolkien's original uh, work. Um, there's an epic battle at the end, which Tolkien doesn't really write about in too much detail, but Peter Jackson takes a lot of time to give you, you know, one of, one of the most epic uh, film battles I think we'll see for a while. Fans are already looking forward to it. Richard Armitage, thanks so much for your time today. Nice to talk to you, Marcia.